quadrangle is important for so many reasons, in partly because it's so squarely in the Jesuit tradition. The Jesuits have a long history of celebrating the arts, and that's what we do. And we celebrate the whole person. The whole person includes the imagination and the creative spirit, and that's what quadrangle is all about. The best definition of an artist, someone who likes making stuff. That's what we are celebrating tonight. Who we are celebrating tonight, the makers, the poets and fiction writers and memoirists, the photographers and visual artists, the graphic novelists whose vision and imagination and craft is so beautifully displayed on the pages of Quadrangle 66. Since senior to normally editor-in-chief, it was a strange situation for us to be in last year where I was editor-in-chief my junior year, so we didn't know what to do with me my senior year. It takes a special person with a very special skill set to serve as Quadrangle editor-in-chief. We have found such a person, someone with talent and passion and a tremendous work ethic and love of Quadrangle, someone dedicated to preserving and burnishing its tradition of excellence. It's my pleasure to announce the Editor-in-Chief of Quadrangle 2019, Patrick Crowley. First act as editor in chief, I would like to announce the managing editor for Quadrangle 67, who will use her experience working on Quadrangle 66 um, to help me and help all of us uh, create a great Quadrangle 67. So please help me welcome back to the stage again, Jordan Smith. It's been a really great experience working with him because we've both brought different strengths um, to the table and we formed like, this really great collaborative unit and we both just had great ideas and we were really good at bouncing things off of each other and coming to like a nice like compromise in the middle. I was surprised and quite honored that somebody had recommended me for such a big task. For the past couple of years I've seen oh come to the quadrant meeting and I thought oh I want to be the designer for that but it just never I just never had time or I forgot about it or had other tasks going on. So this, when the opportunity was given to me, I like snatched it. <laughs> we had that little joke that came up while we were looking at the um, cover page, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, we called it Our Drangle, which like, you know, just a funny, cheesy little thing. But like, it's kind of true because it's not like about us. It's not like my quadrangle. It's about everyone involved. Like we couldn't have done it without Elise. Um, we couldn't have made it without all of our contributors, without Dr. Cochran, I mean, it's not just out, like my quadrangle, it's for everyone. So I th I was really excited to do it again this year, but in a slightly different way. I left a lot of the design control up to Patrick. I was really happy to be a part of that, to help facilitate that. And while he got to create the quadrangle of his dreams, I feel so lucky to have been able to work with Patrick and Elise and just um, help them avoid any pitfalls or challenges along the way and to make sure that they were really happy with what they did in the end. We were definitely able to get an extraordinary amount of work done in a short time period because the three of us just, just work so well together. surprised about how uh, collaborative it was. I really felt like you you and Patrick were my clients and I was fulfilling your wants but also I enjoyed having my own creative freedom that um, whatever decisions I made. You two were pretty receptive of my own choices as well. My freshman year I submitted some pieces to Q64 and I thought I would submit every year after that, but I didn't until I came to this project now. I love the tradition of Quadrangle. I love that we've been doing it for 67 years. And even though I've been doing it for 17 years, every year it's an astonishment. It's always new and fresh because each group of students brings their own energy, their own passion, their own ideas and I'm constantly surprised and amazed by what they come up with.
Dual is obviously a state-of-the-art North American printer. They're total pros and they welcome us and it's really amazing that our little magazine gets such first-rate um, treatment. First, the literary publishing class goes through all the submissions, and then our senior staff does. Okay, uh, well, where are my maybes? Who do we have maybes? One, two, three maybes. All right, where are my nose? I think it's just so, like, such a different level that she picked up those specific words and made such a potent thing. It felt like, exhale, this happened to me, and I'm going to sum it up in this way. I just thought it was really smart and really well done, and I like how short it is. It, it just kind of reminded me of like certain sonnets that I've read, and, you know, it, it, it kind of evoked that kind of feeling that he's getting at something very important and emotional, but in a way that feels almost prose-like in structure. I, I think it can evoke like special feelings. I don't know if everybody like has that, but for, for me at least, like this, this is something that kind of hit where it could. When you gotta think about creating like, a magazine as a whole, you might wanna include something that's maybe not your favorite, but it's definitely like, it definitely has like good merit and it's unique enough. We are mainly gonna require about a solid week of your time in the spring semester. And that's when we're all gonna get together every night for several hours every night, um, going through all the pieces together. I mean, that's like the bulk of the work that you do and that's, that's the best part. When our senior staff goes through the submissions, our conversations are much more in depth and we're really looking and judging and weighing the, the merit and the skill of every piece that comes before us, whether it's prose or poetry or a piece of artwork. Um, we're definitely giving it really careful consideration, lots of back and forth conversations, people's opinions flip flop um, depending on what somebody brings up and what they see in it. It's a really authentic experience that they go through with reading all the submissions and having a discussion and they get to really put into practice everything they're learning in their classes, which I think we can all agree is really important. Yeses. Yeses. Yeses on this. My favorite part was probably doing the like layout, like the order of all the pieces with you in um, the room downstairs with like all the like printed out versions of them. Just because like that was really fun to like find like the pieces that work together and um, find an order that like would make sense. I think choosing the cover image is what inspired the other elements of the design. My favorite part I think is yet to come. My favorite part of any design process is to see the final product when we get to open the box and see how it printed and how uh, everything came together. I think working with a group of like-minded people on a project that they care about is what made me fall in love with it. So much of Quadrangle is about the community of Quadrangle, of readers and writers and contributors and designers. So if the community of Quadrangle is really fostered, it will help create something even more spectacular. I think no matter what your major is, no matter what your interests are, you can be touched by a great photograph, a great piece of fine art, a great poem. It is very visually appealing. We've combined pieces, we design little elements on the page that are going to be attractive. So even if you're not super familiar with literary magazines, I think you can, you can pick this book up and you can hold it and you can flip through it easily and you can find pages that really catch your eye and make you stop and make you wonder and make you read. I know Quadrangle is important um, because we give uh, all of these artists a home and their their pieces like a place to thrive and like exist and be seen by uh, everyone in the Canisius community and outside the Canisius community. Specifically, um, I, I think of our featured artist this year, Ida Nanda, who's um, just a freshman. 
and we we're like kind of giving her this big honor and we didn't even realize that she was a freshman we just saw her artwork and like how amazing it was and we kind of know that like she's gonna go and do something really amazing because she's so great uh, so for us to like be the first place that she's published I think it's pretty cool I think Patrick and Jordan were a perfect team Jordan brought her managerial, organizational, bossy self to the table, and Patrick was steeped in the tradition of Quadrangle, and he brought his own artistic sensibility, but beyond the sort of odd couple caricature, I think they melded into one artistic uh, whole and selflessly brought something amazing into the world. Quadrangle does is it gives students the stepping stone into their future careers and to future opportunities. These students are going to go places with the talent that they have and they're going to be able to point to Quadrangle, point to Canisius and say that's where it all started, like that's where my first like big step was. I think having Quadrangle at Canisius is a huge draw not only for the English and creative writing department but for any students with a creative passion that want to make artwork or take photos or write poems. But my advice for future designers or future quadrangle team members is to yeah, set a schedule, meet often, and explore other options, like really look at other books. I, I think learning from other literary magazines helped me in this experience. Future Quadrangle leaders should respect the work, respect the audience, be bold, think big, be fierce and brave creators. That's what the Jesuits call the Magis. That's what Quadrangle is all about. I think that's really the most important part of the whole thing is bringing all these different groups of people together and like to kind of do this one big thing. And like in the end, yeah, like we put in a lot of the work, but it's not just us. I mean, the contributors put in just as much work on our pieces. Um, our senior editors put in just as much work, you know, reading them and choosing them and figuring them all out. And same with the junior, uh, the junior editing team um, and everyone involved. Just um, they put in. We all put in all this work because we care about this and mm -hmm. love this so much. That is so great. Wow. <laughs>